Hello, welcome to the update. I'm Maham Kashani. The first major drop of supplies has arrived in flood-stricken northern WA. Extreme weather has been preventing aircraft from landing in Fitzroy Crossing, where residents in the Kimberley region are isolated. Up to three tonnes of food has been delivered alongside medicine and bedding. Fire and Emergency Chief Superintendent Peter Sutton says a state resupply plan for freight has also been enacted. There's been 44 permits for triple road trains, which will facilitate the grocery resupply and the main roads are allowing trucks through roadblocks where possible. And the other thing we've engaged is the use of barges which will ship food and other supplies in to those areas of Broome and Derby. A drag racer has been killed at a raceway west of Brisbane. Sam Fennick was competing in Ipswich when his car left the track and slammed into a camera tower. A camera operator has been taken to hospital in a stable condition. A large-scale search has resumed for a 20-year-old swimmer missing on Victoria's Mornington Peninsula. He became caught in a rip with his teenage brother at Gunnamatta Ocean Beach on Friday. Their father managed to rescue the teen, but he couldn't be found. A Jetstar flight has made an emergency landing in central Japan after receiving a bomb threat. The aircraft was travelling from Narita Airport near Tokyo to Fukuoka when it was forced to land. 142 passengers and crew members on board were evacuated from the plane. No explosives or other suspicious objects were found in the cabin or luggage. And we're being warned Australia could go from one extreme to the other with El Nino conditions tipped to potentially replaced La Nina by as early as next summer. CSIRO climate scientist Dr Wenju Chai says that could mean severe bushfire conditions and possible drought. Warmer tend to be more severe and, 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 and we go to a job easier and getting hard, harder to get out. In sport, despite losing more than a day's play, Australia's in a strong position heading into day five of the New Year's test against South Africa. The visitors finished day four on six for 149 at the SCG. The Aussies need 14 wickets to secure a clean sweep off the series. In the Big Bash, the Renegades have defeated the Hurricanes by six wickets. The Perth Scorchers too good for Brisbane, beating the Heat by seven wickets. And Czech teen sensation Linda Noskova will play Arena Sabalenka in the Adelaide International Final before Novak Djokovic takes on Sebastian Korda tonight. In entertainment, Sir Elton John is getting ready for his final tour down under. The New South Wales city of Newcastle will have a front row seat to one of the Rocket Man's final performances in Australia tonight. the latest from the Nova podcast news team but we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of the update